Excellent. Hello again. Welcome back to the show. I have completed some more pieces that I'm here to show planets. Captain Sweep about the Planetary Guardians update. Excellent. Uh, I will make you host. Excellent. All right. You're familiar with this? So as a facilitator, I uh, need to be able to manage the missions. So there's a few things. I'll show you what I have done first, and I'll show you what's left. So for instance, say they want to set up this mission. Um, test. Just put test. So yeah, take a look at the words that I've used, like the because uh, I put instructions on all the steps. So, you know, yeah. Why fifty? Uh, don't you think fifty characters is a bit lo low? No, it ha there has to be a limit. Fifty characters is quite a lot. Um, it's got to fit in the chat room. Okay. Yeah. So, you could go like this, um, or you know, if you wish to set it up as unlimited, I might have to reword that. But basically, you put it as this, and then there's no limit. Okay. Uh, so if they want to put a week, there we go. Then we have this one. They can choose it in any order they want. It took a while to fit this into here. I basically had to copy everything and rewrite everything, but essentially this works. You can, you know, pick a choice lens or, well, pick any of these lenses. And then you can either schedule a mission or manual start. Manual start will just allow them to, you know, just click a button basically later and say, okay, mission is starting. Or they can schedule it. That's the part that I'm working on right now. Uh, it's with the time zones and everything, but I'll have it so that the facilitator can schedule the mission in their own local time. Uh, and then everyone else will see it in their own local time. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, uh, otherwise the th other things I've done, you know, it's, if you don't have any team members, it tells you to add some, you can add Bob, Bob at something. Um, Bob gets an email uh, until, until Bob logs in, he shows up as not activated and all this stuff is kind of blanked out. You can delete him at any time. There's a confirmation screen. Say, you know, make sure, hey, is this Bob you want to delete? Yes, delete. Uh, and then Bob is deleted. So those are honestly the things that I have done. And then also the chat room is back up and running. Um, it's not showing any people because this test person is in his own group with no one else right now. And uh, yeah, I've got some updating to do in the chat room itself. But yeah, what all, all of what you saw took 14 hours, believe it or not. Um, so there's going to be complete missions. You can't do anything with them at the moment. Later on, we'll build some sort of thing so you can click on them and see, you know, how many messages there were, et cetera. Um, active mission for now, again, you, actually, I don't think you'll ever be able to do anything, but that just means that there's a mission happening right now and you can join uh, if that shows up. And mission pending means you've already set up the mission and uh, it's, you know, it's either, it, it should be either, I, I'm going to have to change that to say either mission scheduled or mission ready. And so that if they click mission ready, if they hover over it, uh, it'll say, yeah, I was going to set it up so they can modify the missions after they've created it, but it's, it's a lot more work. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that, but I will change this. So instead it says launch mission or start mission, uh, or if it's scheduled already, it'll just say mission scheduled. And like here, there won't be anything that happens when you scroll over it. Uh, this button doesn't do anything, but it will. Uh, otherwise, if I if we don't get to it by the time that we need this, then I'll just put something else here or I'll move this down or something. So that's a few things here that need to be done. This, this needs to look a little bit better, but essentially it works. Uh, I'm going to make it two so they can only set up the next mission. So they, you know, they can't jump and set up mission seven when five and six are not set up, for example. Okay. But that's just weird. And I don't think they should be setting up the missions. Like, you know, if their active mission is step two, I don't think they should even be able to set up step four yet. Just the next mission, because otherwise the, the context might change, right? They might need, they might at, 
after the next mission goes, they might they might really want mm. you know a different objective or different cards, you know. And so they yeah, uh, eventually they'll be able to edit them. But for now, it's just easier for me to not make them editable. So you create them, they're done. Uh, so that is so this stuff here is still to do. Um, they can't update their time zone like I showed you, so the facilitator can set it. And then the people can set it too. But so whenever they schedule a mission, it's going to be scheduled in their own time. So it's easy to understand. Uh, and the other thing that has to happen, there's three things. This this stuff in here has to be finished. The second thing is um, like what I added, Bob, he gets an email. Uh, when he first logs in, he needs to upload a picture or, you know, a couple simple things to just, you know, activate his account and then he has a picture because, you know, otherwise let's see how it's going to give us pictures for everyone. Same thing with the facilitator. Um, and then the other thing that needs to happen is, you know, this needs to be kind of completed. You can add a group right now and the facilitator will get an email. Their stuff will show up with seven in a, not set up missions and no members. All of that is basically ready. Um, yeah, I'll, for now, I think I'm just going to stop it so you can't do anything with these. They just show up once they're added. Uh, eventually, we need to be able to, you know, they want to be able to monitor the groups and all this stuff. We can build that in. But for now, I think it's just going to be easier not to do that. Uh, and yeah, the, the regular member view again. Uh, they don't really need to do much. They can change their time zone if they have to, like they move to another country or something. And the mission has been not been set. Will show up instead as, you know, next mission is here, or you know, next mission is either now, click here to join, or next mission is, and then it'll show the date and time and their their time, their local time. So it's a lot more time than you thought, huh? Yep. The biggest pieces are done now. The, the last big piece is the scheduling thing, which is more complicated than it looks just because of the time zone stuff, um, but I'm halfway there. And I just noticed it was, you know, 10 o'clock almost for you. So I thought I'd shoot you a message, show what I've done so far, but I'll keep working on it today and tonight. Hopefully have it uh, possibly finished by tomorrow is what I'm hoping for. Okay. Well, we're cutting it pretty close. Cutting it pretty close. I know, I know. I've stopped scheduling meetings. That uh, did, definitely did distract me a bit. But at least we got you a good project manager. It looks like uh, she's going to be probably good. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I think in the long run, you know, it's it's sometimes you just got to, you know, bring everything to the next level. And you did that. So, I mean, good, good on, kudos on you for that. Um, you know, it's up to you. It looks like you're going to finish it, so. And it's what I like is you know there's there's the real simplicity of this part right, like the yep. what we were doing before was a lot more complicated and this is very simple. <clears throat> so yeah, it's uh, yeah this because I sent them a, they sent me a message asking for the convo types right, and I sent the, I I was I, I just couldn't get to it, and then I sent them about I think they should do it. It's like that's part of their training is for them to go through and choose what they want. They wanted me right, to. Right, they right, wanted right. me to give the convo types, and I, I, I want them to learn how to use it. Well, yeah. I mean, what's the point of what's the point of even choosing them for them if yeah. they're if they're not going to use them? You know. Yeah. So I, I put that back, and I haven't heard back. So we'll see. Um, but I think it's. I think it'll be way better if they choose. Yeah. And, you know, they, I mean, really, if they don't care, they can just hit random and it'll give them something. And that'll be kind of like a spell instead of a choice. So it works either way. Yeah. There you go. Justice purchasing a deadline. Well, and, <laughs> and what, this, what this is doing is we're not that far away now from the choose a remedy, you know, press a button and create a chat room, right? Because we're just, we're yeah, yeah, we, skip, we skip this skip, yep. step, add an objective, and then boom, we're in a chat room. I mean, that's what we want, right? yep and if you got the scheduling oh this is great this is great oh good i was at this uh protest all day about the vaccine passports 
I mean, the, oh, yeah. no, no, not the passports, the mandated vaccine passes. And it, there was like 10,000 people. There was yeah. like, there was a massive yeah. group and it was the most hype group I've ever seen. And there's this Take Action Canada, I think, that was, I think, the main organizer. And they're setting up groups in every riding in Canada right now. If we get this ready, I'm going to contact them and see if we could, <laughs> we, we could, this could be like the tool to get them organized in a way that which they, they would never get organized. And they're very, well, yeah, that, that would be good. Yeah. I'm just like, saying uh, that. I, I, yeah, like that's what they need. Like I don't know more and those other things. They had a lot of people behind them, but they had no way to organize. It's you know they just fell apart as soon as it actually tried to do anything. Yeah, no, like this. This is a way to organize a large amounts of people. Um, you know. So good, good stuff. Glad you got this done. So you're going to keep on going, and so you can't. I guess you can't really pull in anyone to help you right now, can you? You just got to hunker down. No. No, no, no one's going to be ready in time to really do anything. They'll take days to get into it and weeks to do anything. Yeah. Dylan nope. was the shot. All... What's that? Dylan was our shot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, he, I guess he didn't realize how much there was to relearn or to learn to do what we wanted. So yeah, we, he'll be, he'll be helpful in other ways. I'm sure. Yeah. If he continues to help us, that's great. Okay. So I guess that's it. Yep. Okay. Um, so get, send me a progress report before you go to bed. Uh, yeah. Okay. And just keep me appraised because like we're, um, we're very close, like we got to get this tested, but I can't really call people to test until we sort of have it. So yeah I'll, no, I'll, start, I'll start to gather maybe maybe on saturday can we aim for a test on saturday yep why do we aim for uh maybe five o'clock saturday test p.m um let's just uh i'll just update you tomorrow and the next day and let's plan for saturday but it's only what wednesday for you so that hopefully that should be fine but yeah don't tell me I, I think tomorrow. next week they're ready to they're they're going with this next week right like this has to be done yeah <clears throat> i think i put i told you what I, I put a week on top of you or something because otherwise we were fucked if we were going on the deadline i gave you we, we're done. We were done. Yeah, I know. Okay. Good. That's good that you did that, obviously. <laughs> but Ali will get it done now. Okay, Mr. Get It Done. You're getting it done. And uh, excellent work. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye.